All right, Danny, in the second video, we're going to talk about the second thing that we focused on, which is the idea of creating momentum towards home plate by leading with our front hip. And so I got Roger Clemens and Greg Maddox up here again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing a line behind their back hip here where the pitching rubber is with both Roger Clemens and Greg Maddox. And what you're going to notice, I'll start with Roger Clemens on the right-hand side, is when he gets to his knee lift, he gets to the top of his knee lift, what he's going to do is he's going to lead with his front hip and his front butt to work towards home plate. And as he does that, he's creating momentum towards home plate. The butt and the hip lead the whole time until the hands break and the foot and the knee stay behind the front hip. While he does that, you'll see that his head always stays over his belly button. So he's got that idea of dynamic balance going on. And as a result of that, you're going to see the distance that he's created from the pitching rubber with his back hip. And that is going to create momentum and momentum creates maximum velocity. It's also going to create a good, strong stride towards home plate, which is going to close the distance between you and the hitter. So the ball is going to get to the to home plate quicker. You're going to see the same thing here with Greg Maddox. He's going to get to his knee lift right there, and then he's going to lead with his front hip and his front butt, thrust that forward towards home plate just like that until he breaks those hands. And again, just like Roger Clemens, you're going to see he's created separation with his back hip from the pitching rubber. His foot and his knee stay behind the hip and inside the body as he thrusts towards home plate. And as he's doing that, just like Roger Clemens, he's going to keep his head over his belly button. So those are the principles that we were really focusing on to maximize your stride, and maximize your momentum and to create a repeatable delivery so that you're consistent towards home plate. Now with that in mind, I want to pop up your original video, the one that we took before we did any instruction, and then I want to pop up your most recent video after we did some instruction. And so what we're going to do here is we got you in your set position. We're going to draw that line that we did with both pros behind the back hip. And we're going to start by looking at your old video. So you're going to see here you get to your knee left. And your back hip is actually way behind that original line where you started. And as you go forward, you're going to see that you don't really lead with your hip. Instead, you swing this foot out. And your foot, before you break your hands, is already outside of your hip. So you weren't really leading with your hip. Instead, you were just swinging the foot out. And as a result, as you break your hands, you don't create any separation with your back hip from the rubber. In contrast, on the right hand side, we're going to go ahead and get you to your knee lift. And you're going to see you do a much better job here leading with your hip and your front butt towards home plate as you break your hands. You can see here, as a result of leading with your hip, now your foot is inside of your hip, your knee is inside of your hip, and you're really leading this way, which is what we want. And as a result, you've started to create some distance from the rubber with your back hip. You can still do a better job with this, but you're already starting to make the progress that we're looking for. One of the things I want you to think about when doing this is where your head's at in relationship to your belly button you want to make sure that your head is out over your center of gravity as you're thrusting your hip. And I really think as you start to be less exaggerated with your, with your knee lift and you don't go as far back this way, you're going to learn how to create even more momentum and separation from the pitching rubber as you thrust at this front hip. But that's really a much better job, and I see a lot of improvement there. So that's great.